Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about image function. Image function is a powerful tool for visualizing matrix data as an image. Whether you are working with numeric data or processing photographic image, understanding how to use image that can enhance your analysis and presentation. But why we are talking about image function so suddenly? That I am going to tell you at the end of the video. So without wasting time, let's get started. Basically, the image function in MATLAB allows you to convert numeric data into color image. This function is not only used for showing actual image, but it is also great for representing complex data visually. So let's have an example to understand it better. So this is our matrix data. Basically, this is a simple 3 cross 3 matrix. And now we are going to write image function. So our function should be written like this image. This is the name of the function into the bracket, the name of the variable, which we want to convert from a numeric data into a visual data. So this is the data which we want to convert from numeric data into visual data, right? So that is why the name of that variable that we are going to write into this bracket and the function is image. And once you are ready with this, you can simply run this thing. And this is how you can have a image. Now let me a little bit enhance it and give you an example so that you can understand it better. We are adding these two lines, color map, jet and a color bar. And now let's run it again. So now here you can see the color map is jet. And here you can see the color bar for jet. So you can give value in between 0 to 2, 5, 4. Just let me change the value. Instead of 1, let's make it 100. 4, let's make it 2 to 4. And here, let's make it 59. And now let's run. So this is how the color changes. So from this you can understand that how this image function converts a numeric data into a visual data. Now at the beginning of the video I have told you that suddenly why I am talking about this image function in MATLAB. The reason behind this is from upcoming videos I am going to start a new video lecture series on image processing using MATLAB. And this is the reason why in today's video I have taken I have taken this topic image function in MATLAB. So from upcoming videos we are going to explore image processing using MATLAB. See you into the next video. Bye bye.